Hi everyone, Christine here at Christine's Craft Table. I thought I would come on today and give you all an update since today is the last day of September and show you what I've been working on, what I've completed. First of all, I have a granny square. This is a 10 inch square and this is for the Make Along with Judy at Judy's Creations and Crochet. She does her monthly Make Along where she gives us a picture of a bird as inspiration. And then we take those colors and create whatever we want. And I am creating a blanket. And each month I am doing a square. So at the end of the 12 months, I will have 12 squares and put them into a blanket. So this is my square for this month, September and I will insert a picture of the bird so you can see how closely I matched it. Uh, I basically stash bust for my squares. Uh, this is Loops and Threads, soft classic acrylic in pink. This is uh, Hobby Lobby crafter, uh, Crafters, craft, Crafters Big Idea. It's the big uh, skeins of acrylic that they sell. And this is black or they call it peppercorn. Uh, this is one of the cakes I got from Crystal in her mystery box. It's called Premier Everyday Worsted Anti-Pilling Gradient. And it's a uh, green tones is the color so it goes from a light green to a dark green so this color and right here and this little bit are all from the same cake those are basically the two extremes that it goes it goes from that light green to this uh, darker green it's very pretty so i still have plenty left on the cake to do a bigger project uh, this is i love this yarn in the color royal and then this is arctic ice also hobby lobby i love this yarn and peppercorn again uh craft i want to call say it's crafter secret i'll get it and post it later <laughs> so anyway the pattern is the big beautiful flower granny by adore Kriya crochet on youtube and I have made this several times. Uh, I decided not to vary my patterns too much for the blanket because it's gonna already have a crazy number of colors in it. So I thought I'll repeat some of the patterns to give it a little, at least a little bit of consistency. <laughs> the other make along I've been participating in is Jada's, Jada and Stitches her Granny's Magical Cupboard Calendar Blanket. And this month, the square that she gave us to work is called the Basic Bobble Granny Square. And again, we're making up as many squares as we want to each month in the pattern that she gives us. And then we will put these all together at the end of the year to make a blanket. And I think these are just cute. <laughs> so these are my colors. I actually used all of my colors in this one. Um, they're all acrylic. And yeah, I really like this month. So that's one of them. Here's another. So just varying your colors, you get quite a different look. There's another. I will block these before I put the blanket together. And there is my fourth. I think that's my favorite this month. So, and then the the back is just uh, uh, plain. Well, I guess you see some of the indentations, but the bobbles are all meant to pop out on one side. And sometimes they stretch out and go flat, so you just poke your finger in them and pop them out again. <laughs> so fun pattern this month with Jada in stitches. And if anybody is motivated to 
come along these crochet alongs at this late date, I will put links in the description box. You are always welcome to join in. If you are a fast crocheter, <laughs> you can do it. I will be putting together several blankets at the end of this year. <laughs> also, there was a summer cal that Judy at Judy's Creations and Crochet hosted, where she gave us six stitches. Uh, she did tutorials for six different stitches, and then we were supposed to come up with a project with at least four of those stitches. And her cowl is over with, and uh, she already did her slideshow and everything, but I wasn't able to finish because I got a little overcommitted over the summer. So I am so proud. I finally finished all six stitch tutorials. And what I'm going to do again <laughs> is put the squares together into a blanket. And I'm hoping to come up with the square size or the blanket size for a Boggy Creek blanket. So I just thought I'd show you my completed squares. This is the herringbone double crochet. And I just love all of these stitches. This is the Suzette stitch. I had to put a um, <laughs> tag on them because I can't tell them apart. <laughs> I mean, I can tell they're different, but I can't uh, figure out stitches very easily looking at a pattern. This is the last stitch, which I really liked. It's called the Puff Moss Stitch. And very easy, but very cute. So I made two of each. This is the double cross stitch. Another pretty one. I did two of those. And this is the triad stitch. And lastly, the spiked sedge stitch. This is very pretty. I love this one as well. It's not as fun to work, but it's one of the prettiest ones when it's all worked up. <laughs> so I guess hard work pays off. <laughs> anyway, I don't currently have enough squares to make a blanket, so I have to repeat some of the patterns to come up with enough, enough um, squares. And I think I will put them together with, I'm thinking a forest green. I kind of, I was going to do white, but I'm kind of tired of white. <laughs> so I thought that a forest green would join them all together really nicely. We shall see. But I'm happy to be on my way with that one. The last thing I've been working on which is going to be a long-term project, so you're probably going to see it several times, is these this queen-size thermal stitch blanket. And I have four colors so far. This is obviously black. <laughs> I think this is Yarn Bee Soft and Sleek. These are all four-weight acrylics. This is Karen Simply Soft. This is I Love This Yarn, and this is I Love This Yarn. This is the navy, and this is arctic. I really like this arctic color. Anyhow, she gave me a picture of another blanket that she kind of wanted this one to match, and so that is what I'm going off of. And I have some grays to work in, and uh, dark grays, light grays, and then some more black and blue. So that's the color palette. This, But I just love this, the squishiness of this blanket. It's going to be really warm and heavy. You can see how thick that fabric is. And it's an easy stitch once you get through the first few rows. Um, but it's slow going. <laughs> It's basically a single crochet in the back loop and the loop of the stitch in the row below it. So, uh, yeah, you kind of have to break it up with other projects. But I'm, I'm making progress. This is about, I think, 14 inches, 15 inches last time I measured. And my goal is 84 inches. <laughs> and 
I hope to finish by Christmas. We shall see. <laughs> Lastly, and probably the reason why I jumped in front of the camera this evening, <laughs> I wasn't planning on it, is I got a wonderful package in the mail from Judy's Creations in Crochet. Doesn't she have a cute little bag there with her logo? This is from Canada, all the way to Kentucky. And Judy gave away some yarn on her channel for her birthday month, September. And sadly, the yarn is caught in the, in the, ooh, in the flap of the envelope. <laughs> I wanted to open this on screen. All I did was slice it open with scissors, but Well, I might lose a bit, little, little bit of yarn. It got caught in the flap that folds over in the envelope. Oh, isn't that pretty? Look at that. <laughs> it's like a um, mauve tones. This is Nitty Gritty Fiber Arts. Adventurous color for adventurous people. Hand dyed luxury fi fiber, Rio Rancho, New Mexico, USA. So it went from USA to Canada and back to USA. <laughs> Champagne Powder Select is the color. Fingering Sock Weight Color. Oh, that's the name of the yarn, I guess. Uh, color Red Barrel, 75% fine wash. Fine superwash merino wool, 25% recycled nylon, 100 grams, 437 yards. Suggested crochet needle E4, four ply. That is pretty. I think I'm gonna make me a nice pair of socks with this. That's a nice thin fingering and it's soft as can be. Yep. I will show you when I complete them. But that is going on my to-do list. I'm going to have a luxury pair of socks. Thanks again, Judy. This is a wonderful gift. Uh, she just had some random drawings throughout her birthday month. And I was fortunate enough to win. Oh, there's something else in here. I guess I should open. Oh, there's a note. Thank you, Christine, for your support of my channel. I hope you enjoy this yarn, Judy. Very nice. And what is this here? Wow, Judy, I love your bags. That is adorable. We have, ooh, maple apple cider. Yum. Stash. I will drink that tomorrow. Yum. And you call on a laundry detergent. I love when Judy <laughs> includes laundry detergent with her yarn. She did that last time I won some yarn from her. Soak detergent for fine yarn. What else do we have? Oh. This cute little stitch marker. It's a flower. Isn't that pretty? That's kind of there. <laughs> Very pretty. And something else. Get stickers. Flower. Oh, it's a button. Oh, how cute is that? Two of them. <laughs> oh, how cute. They are two delicate little buttons. <laughs> See the holes right in the middle there. Sweet. Thank you, Judy. 
I'm going to have to find something special to use those on. And two little stickers. <laughs> Chocolate. <laughs> and a koala. I think that's a koala. Cute. Thank you so much. And that concludes this video. Hope you enjoyed it.